Hi, I'm Laura Rogers, and today I'm going to quickly show you a forms portal that I've created. As you can see on the screen, we have an entire web application dedicated to forms in the company. So it's called, you can call it myforms.company.com, forms, whatever you'd like to refer to it as. But basically, all the end users will know that this is where they go to fill out any form that they need. So as you can see, um, as you, when you go to the home page, it says start a new form, and you can simply click the name of the form that you'd like to fill out, and you're immediately filling out a new form. So you can fill out these forms and submit them. Each form has got sort of different approval processes that it goes through, different, different people that have to approve it. There is a standard workflow for each form. When someone, it's time for someone to approve it, the workflow will simply send an email to that next approver with a link to the form to open it up. They open the form, there's an approval section in the form, and then they start going through the approval process, and each approver gets an email when it's their turn. So as you can see, we have an assigned to me section here, and that means that these forms are waiting for me to approve them. Me, the log, and it goes, it knows who the logged in user is. So I can click this particular form, and I can see that all the in information that was submitted originally and it shows up at the top and then here I'm the finance ambassador so here's the section where I can approve or reject the form and you can see this form can only be approved by me um, because it's assigned to me to approve you can do little things like that in your forms to make them so that they're specific to that person and no one else can do the approval Okay, so I submitted that form and it bounces me back to the home page. So that's just an example of how that works. On the right, we have some SharePoint groups. So sometimes forms get assigned to an individual and they end up in the Assigned to Me section. And then sometimes they get assigned to a SharePoint group like Accounts Payable or HR Benefits Manager. And that's those are groups where uh, there are multiple people in the group and just kind of one person in the group has to go ahead and just take a turn, you know, take a form and approve it and do whatever they need to do with it. So that's where those are displayed on the right. And then we also have this concept of forms administration. So each form, you know, has a different process, has different people that need to see it. HR, an HR form, HR people need to see it, an IT form. You know, you have IT people that need to be able to look at those forms. So. When people go directly to the libraries, they're not going to be able to see all the forms. They're only going to be able to see their own forms. So we've created these custom forms administration pages, which are specifically created for the people in charge of being able to see all of that particular form. So for example, but the budget transfer form, here is that administration page. So the way this works is this page itself has security so that only the people that you've allowed will be able to get to this page, this view of all the forms, and see everything that's been submitted. Also on the right side, they will only see the form administration pages that they have access to. So if I'm the budget person and I'm in HR, I'm only going to see things related to budget and HR and things like that. So you don't have to worry about people going to admin pages that they're not allowed to go to. So here's my admin page. And some admin pages, they want those form admins to be able to see all the forms, like, for example, all the budget transfers that have been submitted through the whole company. But for some forms, like this budget transfer, they want the admins to only be able to see forms that have been submitted related to that specific department. So if I, the logged in user, if I'm in IT, then I'm only going to see the IT forms, which is why this web part says my department. So that web part is specific to just my forms that I need to admin. An HR person is going to see budget transfers for the HR department. A marketing person is going to see the budget transfers for marketing. So that's that's how that's kind of filtered down a little bit. So people aren't, if you if for that particular form, if you don't want everyone to see all the forms, that's one thing that we could do. And here I can click to go back to the forms homepage, and I can see that if I go to any one library, I'm only going to see my documents, things that I've submitted, and I can see their status as I can see who the next approver is that they're waiting for. All right, that just about wraps it up. Thanks, this has been Laura Rogers with Rackspace, and let us know if you have any questions or if you would like to have a forms portal in your organization. Bye.